What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the LPR Trading Group YouTube channel. I've got a video for you today. It's actually a really good one. It's a trade plan that we had planned about 15-20 um, minutes before the trade actually happened. And I'm going to show you a live trade review of the trade that I actually took as per the plan. So what I want to do first is pull up our Discord here. We look at 9.50. I sent out this. I sent out this guy right here. So this is ES. Um, we were currently in a long trade from this area, this uh, 38.74. And I said I was looking for ads if we get a pullback into this pre-market low area, especially if we can make lower lows below pre-market low, trap a few sellers, stop out a few buyers, and then we can get long in this area and look for the high of day break. So this is what I posted, this exact chart here at 9.50. If we go to the charts here, this is approximately when I posted the chart, okay? Right around 9.50. And I still have the drawing on the chart right here. As you guys can see from the drawing, it did exactly what we thought it was going to do. Pull back, break the pre-market low, hold, reclaim, go for the high of daybreak. So let's keep this one short and simple. I'm going to pull up the recording I have here. Now, just to let you guys know, I record all of my trades every single day. Just so I can go back, review trades, and um, see what I've done right and see what I've done wrong. So at this point in the trade... I'm, I'm in a trade, very small size. I had an original entry of 74. I added some down in this area where you see my mouse cursor. That's why my average is, average is 79.75. I end up stopping out of this position. So I'll fast forward a little bit. You can see I don't have a trade on any, anymore. I stopped out. I got back in at 83.75. We're dipping below the pre-market low as I thought. Trapping short, stopping at week longs. <clears throat> so I get back in the trade. Very small. I also stop out of this trade. So let's fast forward a bit. Here's my stop here below this low. And I'm stopping out of this trade so I can get a better average. I can get a better entry if this trade wants to set up again. So now I can see, we'll pause this here. Now I can see on Jigsaw, on our auction Vista, we're starting to, starting to absorb some sellers up in this area. We had a lot of buy pressure coming off these original lows here. This is the area we're starting to absorb again. We're below the pre-market low, which was as per our plan. So this is where I want to try and get back into the trade. It's exactly what I do. I get back into the trade at 38.79.50. We'll hit play on this again. Now, as this trade starts moving to the upside, I actually misjudge my profit target. I was looking at cumulative delta here, which is down at the bottom, and it was relatively weak. As price was going for the high break, cumulative delta was not as strong as I would have liked it to be. So I actually took my partial early, and I cut the rest of the trade early. My final target on this trade was actually pre-market high at 39.54. I'm going to tell you right now. This was a mistake on my end. I don't mind so much cutting the first piece early because I could see sort of pieces of my puzzle not coming together as I would have liked or as I would have expected. But to cut that runner so early when I was break even, a uh, big mistake. This is not how I trade. This was just simply a mistake. So I put an order out there at um, 39.08.50 for first target. And I want the next one. You'll see me trying to get an order in here. At 39.37.75, okay? This is the one that I should have let go no matter what. Um, I just saw too many things that were potentially working against me that I cut the trade. This is not the right thing to do. I had such a good entry. We were so far in the money. It was a free trade. It was a mistake. We all make mistakes, and this is a mistake I made. So let me fast forward the video a little bit. So we're going for the highs, just like our plan says. Pushing, pushing, our target's up there at 39.08.50. And we take that target a little bit early. I took that target at 39.05, okay? So we took that off at 39.05, which was right here. You'll see me drag this down into 39.05s, 39.04s. Okay? So we get that target. Now we go for this high day push. This is where I got scared. Why? You see price right here making new highs. 
CD making lower highs. I was fearful that sellers were going to come in over the highs, sort of failed breakout where a lot of bad retail gets trapped and sellers were going to take over the shorts here and really roll this thing over, possibly down to the lows. Well, that didn't happen. Buyers actually held price up on the bid and uh, they started pushing the offer at market and push price through the highs. We can see that in a second here. So now we're through the highs. Um, again, hindsight's 2020. I should have kept my target in at that 39.53.75. It is what it is. We just go back, review our trades, learn for next time. How do we get this trade? Why do we take this trade? And how do we mark up this plan? Well, once you develop a relationship with ES, you're part of our chat room, our course material. This is um, pretty much a textbook scenario that uh, we would see. Now, what we do in the chat room is we have a channel here where members are sending out their trades and trade plans. So they're sending out their plans before these trades even happen, right? Um, and this is exactly how trading is supposed to work. So our members are sending out their plans, the zones they want to look at, where their buys are, where their sells are, and they wait for the market to come to them. It's really just that simple. Instead of being super reactionary, you have a plan. You're sitting back, you're waiting for the market to do what you want it to do, and you execute as per your plan when it comes to fruition. With that being said, we'll keep this video short and sweet. I just want to show you guys that uh, sort of plan the trade, trade the plan type thing that we practice um, in our group. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll get back to every single comment when I see them. And if you have any questions, let me know. Cheers.